Should you stop traffic to bury the undead? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome. Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where we dive into current events, hand out sage life advice, and answer those burning vampire questions, all from the undead perspective. Today's headline, Private Israeli Spyware Was Used to Hack Journalists and Activists Around the World. Um, all I can say is, that is not a surprise to me. I'm sure that it wasn't just the Israelis. Of course, I didn't read the article, so it could have just been the private Israeli software being used by many people to hack a ton of journalists and activists. This does not surprise me. The fact that people found out means that it was going on longer and to more of an extent than we will ever be let to know. This ha kind of thing happens. You should expect it. And if not, then you are naive. Sure, modern technology makes it easier to communicate and find things and for people to meet and exchange ideas, but it also makes it easier to be spied on as well. Keep that in mind and determine what kind of activity and what kind of life you want to live. And today's life advice from peoplesproblems.org and I only take the question headline How to deal with a disrespectful husband Well, I guess it depends upon the level of disrespect If he's completely disrespectful then you always have the option of making him your ex-husband Leave him Move on with your life. Don't put up with disrespectfulness. You could always try training him to be respectful by rewarding his respect with sex. Using it as a bargaining chip and a tool. However, that could backfire because you are depriving yourself if you can live without it, well, I guess you can do it. The other, the other side of that coin of it backfiring is he might just take matters into his own hands and take care of himself and remain disrespectful to you. You can't change someone. And if you don't want to deal with it and you don't want to try and get him to do other actions, such as being respectful, then the first option making him your ex-husband is still probably your most viable option. And today's vampire question. Would burying a vampire at a crossroads keep them trapped? Um, not if the vampire isn't buried as a pile of dust if the vampire is still alive or unalive i suppose then burying them in anything minus maybe quick setting concrete won't do hardly any good it may buy you some time to get away but then again, you spent all that time digging a hole to bury them in. 
they will be able to dig their way out. It doesn't matter if it's a crossroads or an empty field or a vacant lot or a wooded glade. It doesn't matter where you bury them. Vampires are preternatural creatures and will get out. It's a stupid wives' tale. I don't even know how it would have gotten started. This has been Ask McCorkle. If you have any questions or would like any life advice, leave a comment below and I will get to it. Like, share, and subscribe. This video, all my videos, and all my stuff make me go viral. Check out the links in the description, especially that Amazon link. Click on it and it will take you to the tools author page where the book about me, The Hunter Vampire, is listed, as well as the books that I have written, the anti-guru books. Buy them, read them, love them, and I'll talk to you again later.